Doctor, and uh, welcome to today's session. Today, we're going to talk to you about how to set yourself apart from other real estate agents so that you win the listing. Uh, you know the old saying, you have to list to last, and that is so true. If you control the listings, you control the marketplace. But the question is, everybody wants the listings. How are you going to get the listings when there's so much competition? Well, we're going to cover that today. As you know, I listed and sold over 10,000 homes in my career. I was the number one REMAX agent in the world. And amazingly, I did that within 36 months of getting my license. So how did I do it? How did I go from a nobody, nobody knew who I was, never sold anything in my life, brand new real estate agent, uh, to 36 months later, being named the number one REMAX agent in the world. That's what we're gonna reveal today. So please check in, let us know uh, the city, um, and the area that you operate in. Uh, let us know you're here. We get a lot of referrals inside of Craig Proctor Nation. We're always looking for good agents. So we come here first to our our, um, our Facebook page and we refer agents out. You get to keep all the money. Um, so how do we set ourselves apart from the other agents? Well, the first thing I wanna talk about is what is your unique offer, right? Like what do you have that you're offering that the other agents don't have? Um, why should I choose to do business with you versus all of your competition. Um, a lot of real estate agents, when I ask that question, you know, why should someone choose you versus all the other real estate agents? They ramble on about the same old things. Um, well, you know, I'm experienced, I do a good job, I care about my clients, um, I've lived here in this town for 17 years, I'm a great negotiator. Now, although that might seem unique to you because you're the one saying it, it's the same thing that everyone else is saying. So that is not a proper answer to the most important question of why, if I'm selling my house, should I, should I choose to list my home with you versus all of my other options? So what are my other options as a home seller? Well, I could decide not to sell it. I could decide to sell it on my own, or I could choose you or any of the thousands of real estate agents you compete with. So we have to understand what's important to sellers. We have to have the ability to be able to articulate with the words that come out of our mouth and in our advertising, our unique offers. Basically, one of the easiest ways to set yourself apart over all the other agents is to be different versus being better, okay? This is a writer or downer. It's easier to be different than it is to be better. So one of the things I'd recommend that you examine is what is your big offer to sellers? If your offer to sellers is, um, I can give you a free market analysis, they don't need your free market analysis. They can go online today and they can find out all the home sales in the neighborhood. So if you're offering what they can get on their own, probably you're not doing as well as you hope to. Um, also, this whole approach about targeting the seller, like, hey, I need listings, which is ridiculous, right? I need listings, I don't really care what you need. Um, the approach to get sellers is to attract this seller as a buyer first, okay? It would be much easier for you to get listings if you could speak with the homeowner as a buyer first, okay? And the reason that is, is obviously before somebody lists their home for sale, for 99% of the people anyway, they're thinking about where am I gonna go to next? You know, unless they're selling their home and they're not buying again, the vast majority of home sellers are concerned about where they're gonna go to next. You probably have prospects right now in your database, people you're speaking to, that would love to move, but they can't find the right property, right? Because there's a shortage of inventory. So what we teach you to do is to create your own inventory, okay? Um, we teach you what to offer to compel sellers to wanna to speak with you, okay? With the Craig Proctor approach, 1,000% about this is getting buyers and sellers calling you. So you're never initiating the call. You're not um, you know, prospecting or chasing or any of that stuff. Um, if you know what you're doing, all that is completely unnecessary. So here's an example of a really good offer. What if you were to offer move up buyers, right? They have a house, they wanna buy another house, exclusive lists of move up properties, okay? Um, for example, if you offered a list of luxury homes, but it has to be exclusive, it can't just be luxury homes, because they can go to Google, they go online, they can find their own luxury homes. So what if you included uh, off-market properties? What if you included new construction? What if you included distress sales? You see, 
everything that I'm talking about right now is something we know that prospects want, but they don't necessarily know how to get this on their own. So if you're offering something that the prospect can Google or they can find online, rest assured they're going to do that first. Nobody really wants to talk to a salesperson. So you can't really be positioned as a salesperson. You've got to be positioned as you having something they want and the something that you have, they want it so badly that they're willing to pick up the phone and call you, right? They're willing to pick up the phone and call a salesperson. So um, what I like about new construction is uh, the home builders have been stuck with thousands of homes all over, um, all over North America, tens of thousands, uh, because when uh, interest rates went down, a lot of their buyers fell out of closing. So the, the builders are stuck with standing inventory, half-built homes that they need to get rid of. And they're even offering discounted mortgage rates as a method to clean out all the standing inventory. So what if you approach the builder and uh, you ask the builder, hey, what's your most popular floor plans? And if I can sell your homes, your new construction homes, would you pay me a commission, which they're way more likely to do today because they need us now, where a couple of years ago they didn't. So um, that is a unique thing that you could do. Offer a list of new construction homes, you know, the uh, most popular models from, from uh, the city's top five builders, something like that. So now prospects have to call you, but these aren't just any old prospects. These are usually really good prospects because not only are they buying a new construction home or they're interested in getting access to unlisted or off-market or distressed sales, but they also have a house to sell, which is what we want, right? Our topic today is, well, how do I get the listings? So what we're saying, to get the listings, the easiest way to get listings is to attract the home seller as a buyer first. Right, because even if um, if you can't find them a home, they're not going to list their home no matter what. Even if you brought them an offer for more than what their property is worth, would you agree that many of your your um, homeowners would be reluctant to list their home uh, until they know where they're going to go to first? So that's the bait: is you offer something that they really, really want that they can't get on their own. Uh, they can't. Uh, it's something other real estate agents are not offering. Right, so you've got a unique offer. It's something that the prospects can't go online and find themselves. As opposed to, you know, running ads that say, I need listings. Seriously? Nobody cares, right? I need listings. Um, Do you want to list your house? Do you want a CMA? They don't even know what a CMA. What's a CMA? Well, do you want to find out what your home is worth? Why don't we just say that instead of using internal real estate lingo? Um, And... What, what are you going to tell me? My house is worth? That's it. I, I can go online, literally online today, find 56 different websites that will tell me all the homes that have sold it on my street in my neighborhood. So it's not like a great offer. What if you did this? What if it, instead of you saying, would you like a free CMA or would you like to know what the homes in your neighborhood are selling for? What if instead you switched up your offer and you said, um, hey, would you like to know what you will net in your pocket after all the associated expenses when selling your home. You see, that's something they don't know how to do by themselves, right? They know how to look at what other homes have sold for, but they're not quite sure of all the associated costs um, when you sell your home. You know, commissions, paying off your mortgage, any penalties. This is something that most of you do anyway, right? Like when you get with the seller, uh, it's something you do anyway. Well, I'm suggesting take something you already do, but talk about it to get in front of the seller, not something that's reserved only once you meet with the seller, but we're going to build this into our offer. Let me give an example of of something else. And by the way, if you haven't checked in, let us know. Like this page, by the way. If you like this, uh, smash the like button. Make sure you you turn on notifications. You're following this page. So whenever I go live, you get my stuff. And if you haven't checked in to let us know what city you operate in, go ahead. Don't be shy. Uh, we're, I'm going to make a big offer to all of you guys at the end of this. So if I don't know who you are, I can't send it to you. So go ahead and check in. All right, here's something else that we can offer. And I'm going to show you how to put it all, all this together. But how many of you that are watching right now, let me know in chat, If you feel that you've got the knowledge and the expertise uh, when you meet with a seller to give the seller some advice, share your experience and advice on what they should do to prepare their home for sale. We're not talking crazy expensive things, but there's inexpensive things that the homeowner could do to maximize the sales price. Would you guys agree? Let me know in, in chat if you guys agree. 
okay, in the comments below, uh, chat, I'm used to Zoom, let me know in the comments below if you agree that you probably um, have information that would help the seller sell their home for five or $10,000 more. And it would be inexpensive things, right? Uh, what would you recommend? Um, what kind of things would make a difference? Let me know in the comments. So uh, it would be, you know, maybe neutralizing the house. They got bright colors, weird colors. So you, they paint some of those rooms. Maybe replacing some of the carpet or at least getting the carpets cleaned. Uh, rearranging the, the furniture, right? Staging the house. A little bit of landscaping. So inexpensive things. Now, here's the crazy thing about this. What I just said, you do it anyway right? How many of you do that anyway? When you finally get to meet with a seller, you go through the net sheet to tell them what they actually net in their pocket. And you walk around their house and you say, you know what? Uh, you could probably sell your host house for eight to $10,000 more if you painted these rooms and you had the carpets cleaned and you give them a list of inexpensive things that will make a difference. So what am I talking about here? Things that you already do after you meet with the seller, right? Like when you're when you're there, you do all this great stuff. Why don't we start telling homeowners about this to get the appointment instead of just great stuff that you do once you're at their home? Does that make sense? Smash the like button if this makes sense. Maybe give me a little heart and um, let me know what you thought, your, th your thoughts on this. You can see how making the right offer is going to get you in front of um, more people. Now, I want to give you a couple of other ideas here. Um, oh, luxury moves up, move ups are really good. Um, and I'll tell you, offering unique luxury homes, like uh, maybe high demand uh, neighborhoods, so you can go to your MLS, find out what high end price range or neighborhoods are, are selling the most, do that research, right? Because we can do the research to find out what offer to make based on what's selling. So easy, right? Uh, like before McDonald's opens a new restaurant, you know they do all kinds of traffic and research, traffic research to find out if this is a good location for our McDonald's or us. We can do that. Every transaction in your area is captured on the MLS. So we don't have to guess about what a good target market would be. Just go to the data and look at it and go, oh my God, houses in this price range or in the northeast part of town are selling like hotcakes. I'm going to offer a list of those. Now, it can't sound boring. Okay, You can't say... Um, uh, would you like to get a list of all the homes in the northeast part of town um, between 1 million and 1.5? No, no. Spice it up a little bit with swimming pools, large ravine lots. Make it sound exclusive. So now the prospect's like, well, maybe I could find that online by myself, but this is a pretty good list. It's organized. It's easier just to do this. Boom. Now you have a good lead. And remember, when you're, uh, when you're offering a list of luxury homes, 1,000% of the prospects that respond are going to have a house to sell, right? So that's how you're going to get the listing. You're basically going to trick them into calling you as a buyer. Why? So you can get their listing. Now, you're going to get the, the buy end of this and you're going to list their home. Maybe you'll double in their house as well. Okay, here's something else that I did that works really great. I was tired of, you know, seeing all my competitors running around using the word guarantee. Very overused in real estate, right? I guarantee I'll, uh, I'll do a good job. I guarantee that uh, I'm going to get you a high price. I guarantee that it's going to sell. It's an overused word. All your competitors are using it. So when you say these things, do you agree? You don't stand apart. You're saying exactly what everyone else says. What if you did this? What if you actually put your money where your mouth is and you said to the seller, I'm so confident I can get your home sold that if you list your home at my recommended asking price, see, that's the key. If you list your home at uh, my recommended uh, list price, I guarantee that we'll get an offer on your home in under 30 days, or when it does sell, I'll deduct $1,000 off my commission. So the way we, uh, we run ads on that is we say, your home sold in under 30 days, or we pay you $1,000. And the $1,000 is actually a reduction on the commission. And of course, if the house doesn't sell at all, you can't reduce the commission because there, no, uh, there is no commission. So uh, there is no downside to this. Uh, the only downside would be, okay, let me repeat the offer again so you get it. Your home sold in under 30 days where I pay you $1,000. And the, um, the document that you have the, the prospect sign off, it says it's actually a reduction of the commission of $1,000 um, when it does sell. So worst case, here's worst case, because I know you might be, I don't want to drop my commission by a thousand. 
that would only happen if the house doesn't sell in 30 days. But remember, the uh, the condition here, okay, is that they have to list their home at your recommended asking price to get the guarantee. Well, we know if they actually did that, the house would get go under contract in under 30 days. That would happen. And if you don't feel comfortable with 30 days, do 60 days, do 90 days. But that's the concept. And that worked really, really well because my guarantee had teeth. See how, see how it has teeth? Instead of just saying, your home's, I promise to, I guarantee to sell your home or what? Or it'll expire, right? That's what your competitors are saying is, I guarantee to sell your home or I won't and it expires. You're saying, I guarantee to get it sold or I'll deduct my fee by $1,000. So what could go wrong with this? Well, if the house doesn't sell, you're not paying $1,000 because there is no transaction, there is no commission. Okay, what if the home sells in 31 days? Well, boo-hoo. Now you have to deduct, let's say your commission's $20,000 on this transaction, you have to deduct $1,000, okay? So you're, you're getting paid $19,000. So is the cup half full, right? Some of you could look at this and say, oh my God, you had to cut your commission by $1,000. No, this is newfound business. This is a client that never ever would have contacted me had I not made this guarantee and I made $19,000 from making this offer. So you're up 19,000, you're not down 1,000. I hope everyone understands that this is a no-brainer. Okay, again, uh, if you haven't checked in, uh, please do so. Let me know the city and state that you operate in. Um, and let me know if you're liking this. Uh, smash the, uh, the like button or maybe give me a little heart. Make sure you follow our page. Next thing I wanna talk about is a unique event that you can do. Something I created uh, many, many years ago was something called a Sunday tour of homes. Now, the Sunday tour of homes works this way. Instead of sitting in an open house for three or four hours, like the traditional way, where only, you know, one buyer comes at a time and you, the agent, is following him around the house and it's kind of awkward, or even worse, you're at the house for three or four hours and nobody shows up and that's embarrassing because the homeowner comes back home and, you know, they've, they've baked a cake and cleaned their house and you have to say, well, actually, it was a huge waste of time. Nobody came through. What I started doing... Uh, was a tour of homes where I would borrow uh, listings from the other agents in my office, okay? And I would open each house. Now, you ready for this? For only 10 minutes. And you might be thinking, well, how the hell am I going to sell a house in 10 minutes? You're probably not going to sell it in 10 minutes. You're going to be able to bring the buyers back at a second showing later if they're interested. But keep with me on this because this is something all you can do. So I ain't got any listings. Um, uh, other agents in my office that are more successful than me um, had a whole bunch of listings. So I just said, hey, could I open your, uh, your property on Sunday? I'm going to create a tour. It was called the Craig Proctor Sunday Tour of Homes. So I had six houses open. Each house was open for only 10 minutes. So the first house would op be open from 1 to 110. And then there was 15 minutes travel time because it was just me. I had no team back then. And the second house was open from 125 to 135 and so on throughout the afternoon. Now, because I had six house, six, six, it's backwards, six houses open, I got six times as many buyers come out. And on purpose, I'm making all the buyers come to each house at exactly the same time. Boom. What I created was competition or what I like to call the auction effect. Now, I use this in my listing presentation as a unique service that I offered that no other real estate agent in town offered. And I would say to the seller, hey, rather than kick you out of the house on the weekends for four hours on Saturdays and Sundays, I would like you to be present. Now, why do I want the seller to be present? The seller is going to be present at the home. It's only for 10 minutes. And the seller every Sunday is going to see me bring through 10, 15, 20 buyers. Now, if you were one of those buyers and you walk into the house and you really like it, and you see 10 or 15 other buyers, psychologically, what impact does that have on you as a buyer? You're like, well, if, you know, it creates urgency, right? Like fear of missing out. Um, now, here's the crazy part. At the end of the 10 minutes, I'm actually kicking all the buyers out. Gotta go, gotta go, I gotta go get to the next house on the tour. So this is the opposite of what they've ever experienced with any other real estate agent. There's 10 or 15 of them in the house, it's, you know, it's open from 1 to 110. At 110, I got to kick everybody out. If they're interested in coming back to the house, they can set up a second private showing with me. So the point was not to, not that I was thinking I was going to sell the house in 10 minutes. It was to find out who was interested. Now, 
many benefits to this. Even if I had only five unique buyers at each one of these six listings, that would be 30 buyers that I get to meet in less time than sitting at a traditional open house for four hours. The other benefit is not only do I get to meet all these buyers and some of these buyers have houses to sell, if my seller's house didn't sell after a few weeks, every week they're on this tour, it was easy for me to get a price reduction, right? They saw it with their own eyes. They can't say, well, Craig, you're not doing your job or you didn't bring enough people through. They saw with their own two eyes, me bring 35 buyers through their home in the last couple of weeks. At which point I can say, I'm sorry, Mr. and, Miss, Mr. and Mrs. Home Seller, um, the buyers don't seem to be interested in your home at that price. And I can easily get a price reduction. So um, I can service six sellers. Eventually, this works so well, you won't have to borrow the listings anymore. You guys get that? In the beginning, I ain't got no listings. I can't do this. So don't use that as an excuse. That's why I'm sharing this with you. Because some of you are like, well, I'd love, that's, a, that's a cool idea. But I don't have any listings. I don't have six listings. You don't need any listings. You're borrowing the listings. You're on purpose driving all the buyers to each house at exactly the same time. Now, you're going to have questions like, well, how do I market it? Uh, you know, an open house is a bad idea if nobody shows up, right? Whether it's open for 10 minutes or four hours. So we teach you how to market it. How do market this? It's very inexpensive, actually. We show you what Facebook ads to run and what email to send to your sphere of influence, to your list, to fill these open houses. And every Sunday, you'll become, you'll become known as it'll be instead of the Craig Proctor Sunday tour of homes, it'll be yours. Okay, and um, there's another thing I want to give you guys. Uh, if, if you're a little bit short on cash right now, okay, I believe, by the way, I believe you're all born rich. You're all born rich with potential and talents and abilities, but you might be a little bit short on money right now. So I'm going to give you an idea that you can start doing right now to generate seller leads and get listings, and it won't cost you a penny. What we're going to talk about is we're going to talk about Facebook Marketplace. Now, I know some of you have tried to run ads on Facebook Marketplace, so we teach you what the offer needs to look like, right? Um, because, I, you know, if you don't have the right offer, this is what I, I typically hear from agents if they're struggling. It's like, well, none of this works, Craig. Facebook doesn't work. Google pay-per-click doesn't work. Uh, direct mail doesn't work. Radio, nothing works for them because they've got the wrong offer. So they mistakenly believe, well, it's the media. They, they believe social media doesn't work because they don't know the correct offer to make in their marketing. So this is from one of my coaches. Um, his name is Lester Cox. He's in Phoenix. He's been a Craig Proctor coach for 20 years. And uh, his note to me, and if you guys would like to get this, um, you, can type in, um, you can type in FB, so Facebook um, script, FB script. Uh, here's how it works. Lester says, forgive me for reading this, but um, Lester says, I have members who are running ads on Facebook Marketplace. He says, um, we run the entire information, address, features, but it's important to run one of these Facebook Marketplace ads for every price range that's in your marketplace. You know, one for 700,000, another house for 800,000, another house for 900,000. He says, what we're looking for is uh, people click the messenger button, right? And you get a message that says, is this home still available? When that message comes in, here's the issue that many of you are having. You don't know how to convert the leads, right? So is this house still available? Whether you say yes or no, that's kind of the end of the conversation. So what came of all this? Nothing, right? So I want to show you how to actually convert the leads. You want to reply. So when they click, when the prospect clicks on, uh, is this home still available? You want to reply with something like this. Hi, my name is Janet. I'm Brandon's assistant. He's tied up in a meeting right now, but he asked me for when is a good phone, what's a good phone number and a good time so he can call you back uh, all about this home. Now, here's where we plus it, as well as information on other properties that are great deals, but they haven't hit the open market yet. When would be a good, what's a good phone number and time for Brandon to call you back at? Okay, now if you don't have an assistant, you could, you know, you, you could uh, pretend you're the assistant, I guess. Uh, but this is working well. This is what Lester says. Coach Lester says, we're getting about 15% of the prospects who, you know, message, is this home still available? Once we send our message out with, uh, hey, I'm the assistant, what's your name and number? We're getting about 15% to respond with an accurate phone number, a correct phone number. 
And Lester makes a good point. He goes, if they're going to give you a fake phone number, they just would ignore you. They wouldn't reply at all. So about 15%. So if, if you generate 100 leads, uh, about 15 of them are going to give you their real contact number, their real phone number. Now, the point is these people are looking for a home. Think about it. They went to Facebook. Then they went to Marketplace. Then they had to click on categories. Then they had to click on homes for sale, find your, uh, find your house, and then click on it. So these are not accidental leads, okay? These prospects are actively looking for a home. Just, these are just about as good as a, a sign call. So if you'd like to get this script, okay, type in, uh, just type in script, I guess, Facebook script, FB script, your script. And um, I'll tell you what we need. We need your email address because we'll email it out to you. So type in, um, type in your email address. That's probably the best way. Uh, you can tell I'm thinking about this last moment here. I wasn't planning on giving this to you, but if you type in your email address, um, we'll get back to you and we'll get you this script here. Um, by the way, I also have a private Facebook group. Uh, we're on my business page right now, uh, but I've got a private group uh, where I've got 7,000 top realtors from all over the United States and Canada inside this group. So if you liked the content today, of course, the natural thing is follow this page. Follow this page and then you'll get information uh, whenever I go live. You're going to get notified if you turn on notifications. Like this page, okay? Does it, just smash the uh, the, the like button here. Let me know that you like that. This is how I get feedback. And if you would like to be a member free of charge, zero dollars to my private Facebook group, just type into the comments below private group. Okay. Private group. Do that right now. Private group. And we'll get you an invite. Uh, it costs you nothing. And you're going to start uh, mixing with real estate agents that are doing more business than you. Well, you know, uh, what our parents said is when we were young, it's probably true, right? If you hang around bad people, bad things will happen. If you hang around good thing, good people, good things will happen. How many of you, your parents said that to you? Well, it's the same thing in real estate. If you start hanging around with the agents that I coach, um, you're going to have better conversations and you're going to start thinking about real estate in a much different way. For example, how many of you learned a lot today? This was absolutely free, zero dollars, and I made a pretty good presentation to you. I want to teach you how you can use video, just like we are today, and you can take your presentation, your benefits, and you can send that out to all of the buyers and sellers in your marketplace. We know how to do that. It used to be that if for, for a buyer or seller to understand your services, you had to either speak with them on the phone or you had to meet with them at their kitchen table. Well, here's the, the challenge today. Prospects are not picking up the phone. And since the pandemic, everybody was told, don't have any, anyone to your house. So the younger the prospect is, the more this is true. They don't answer the phone and they don't want to meet with you just to find out what you do. So look what I did here today. Okay, we've got a whole bunch of you with me and you've been watching this now for about a half an hour. Okay, I didn't, um, uh, I, you know, I didn't have to pay for this, uh, but I gave a presentation to you for free on Facebook. Okay. Um, you got to know me. Uh, hopefully you're thinking, oh, Craig really knows his stuff. He's got some good ideas. Let's teach you how to do that. So join this private Facebook group, type in private group. And imagine this, when you meet a seller at their house, let's say, you would tell them all, all about you, right? You, you have a presentation. Let's take the best of your words, your presentation, and let's record a video and let's push that video out to, first of all, everyone in your database, everyone in your CRM, okay? Then I'll teach you how to push that out, that video of you saying, hey, um, uh, I'm Craig Proctor, uh, I'm with Remax, uh, here are my services. This is what I do that's different and better. And it would be you for about five minutes talking about your unique benefits. Wouldn't you agree a whole lot more prospects in your marketplace would be willing to open their email and see that video? or if it was texted to them, or they see this video of you on social media saying, hey, I want, I want uh, you to get to know me. Uh, my name is Craig Proctor. I'm a Remax agent. This is what I do. Uh, this is what's what makes me different. These are my services. And the call to action always is call me. Here's my cell number. Uh, when you call it, it'd be me, Craig, the one answering the phone. I want to thank you very much for watching this. I hope to hear from you soon. Again, you can call me right now on my cell at blah, blah, blah. Thank you for watching. And it's that easy.
So let's get you coached up. Even if you're struggling right now, and I know a lot of you are, start with the free ads on Facebook Marketplace. Sit down with yourself today and say, what, what have I got? What unique offers do I have? Why should a seller choose to do business with me versus all the other agents? And if you're struggling with that, that's again, maybe why you're not doing as well as you, as you were hoping to. Uh, every seller and every buyer is thinking about this, right? Why should I work with this real estate agent versus all the other agents or not even have a real estate agent at all? You've got to have a spectacular answer to that question. Even if the seller's not outright asking you, why you, why should I pick you? You know for sure, 100% they're at least thinking about it, right? In the back of their mind, they're like, well, you know, real estate agents are a dime a dozen. Why should I list my home with you versus my Uncle Joe that sells real estate part-time or uh, the guy that I play hockey with or, you know, uh, the person I went to high school with? There's a lot of real estate agents. Now, if I could do this in 36 months, which I did, think about this. Never sold anything in my life before right? Who am I? I dropped out of college. I dropped out of university. The only reason I got into real estate is because my father was a real estate agent. Even my dad said, don't do it. But within 36 months of having my real estate license, number one in the world for Remax, I sold over 10,000 homes and I've created more millionaire real estate agents than any other coach or trainer or mentor out there. Most of these guys don't even sold real estate. None of them had my track record as a real estate agent, and none of them have my track record for creating other millionaire agents. That's right. I've created more millionaire real estate agents than any other coach or trainer or guru or whatever they call themselves. So if you'd like to book a call with my team, that's also zero dollars. I'd like someone to type in uh, proctorcall.com. Okay, my name, proctorcall.com. And we do something free of charge called a breakthrough call. And how the breakthrough call works is we would do it on Zoom so we can show you some of the strategies that I'm teaching agents to use. And this is your opportunity to evaluate the Craig Proctor program. Like, what is this about? How is Craig different than Tom Ferry or all the other guys that are out there, right? Um, now, we'll also, it's not, a, it's not like just a sales pitch or anything like that, because we're actually going to give you productive ideas. We're going to answer your questions and, uh, you know, look at what you're doing now. Like, what are you doing right now? And then ask you, well, why are you doing it that way? And what kind of results you're getting? And if you ever, if, would you be open to trying this? Uh, have you ever tried this approach? You know, understand that the results you're getting, whatever they are right now, whether they be good or bad, are based on your routine. Just like you have a morning routine, right? When you wake up, like for me, I wake up, I immediately want to go down, have a coffee, jump in the shower. Uh, there's a routine that I have. And if somebody disturbs my routine or your, your morning routine, we don't like it when people mess with our routine. However, in business, you also have a routine. Right? There's certain things that you do every single day. Check the MLS, do paperwork, whatever it is that you do all day long, all week long, um, gets you the results that you're getting. And you come on uh, this training here today and you say, well, I don't like my results or I want to improve my results. Perfect. That means we can't keep doing what you're doing. That means you can't keep thinking the way that you're thinking. And this is why I want to introduce you to other top agents. If I show you a much better way, if you're convinced that the Craig Proctor system is a much better way to run your real estate business, you're never going to go back to what you're doing right now. Once you see this, you can't unsee it. Once you hear this, you can't unhear it. So book yourself a call. Okay, right down below, you can see in the comments, you can click on, that's a clickable link, and you're going to go to my Acuity Day Timer. Now, you're not going to be talking to me. It'll be one of my team members because I couldn't do them all. Um, and we'll spend 45 minutes with you. It'll be the best 45 minutes on your business. We, we promise you that. For whatever reason you don't like it, just hang up. You just go away. It costs you zero dollars. All I want you to think today is what if or maybe, right? What if this is real? What if Craig Proctor really did sell more houses than any of the other real estate agents? What if... Uh, it's true that he became the number one REMAX agent within 36 months of having his real estate license. What if it's true that Craig Proctor has, in fact, created more millionaire real estate agents than any other coach or trainer or guru? I have the names. You can go to Zillow and you can type in the, the, my members' names and, you know, comma Zillow. Just put that into Google and you'll see how many homes they sold. Right? It'll tell you in the last 12 months, this agent sold 500 homes, this agent sold 700 homes. And 
uh, I don't want to intimidate anybody because, you know, maybe you're like, well, that's, uh, that seems far off, 500 homes. I just want to sell 50. Fine. You come to me. We look at what you're doing. And why are you doing it that way? Well, here's why I do it this way. Somebody told you to do it that way, right? Or you looked around at the other agents and you figured, okay, they're all doing it this way. I'm going to do it this way. So you copied your approach from other people. Let's see if we can plug in a better approach. Since you didn't invent it anyway, you copied it, whether it be door knocking or cold calling or buying leads from Zillow. And the crazy thing is, is you know this isn't working well for you, right? You have a, a level of dissatisfaction. That's why you're watching this right now. Um, so you're not satisfied with your approach. You're not happy with it, but you keep doing it anyway. Now that's a paradigm, okay? A paradigm are other people's habits. So, um, you know, the way you were raised by your parents, uh, all your experience in high school and college and all the crap that they've taught you while you've been a real estate agent, right? The way every other agent does it, that forms your paradigm, how you look at and how you think things should be done in real estate. Okay, so we want to disturb that old paradigm. We want you not to keep doing what you're doing. Look it, here's a paradigm. People do things they don't like doing. They get results they don't like, but they keep doing it anyway. It's insanity, right? Um, so give yourself a chance with this. If you've enjoyed this, smash the like button, okay? Make sure you, you turn on notifications, you follow my page here, okay? You can watch my YouTube channel as well. That's really, really good. Got great stuff, hundreds of videos there. Most importantly, book your call with me, okay? Go to proctorcall.com, pick a day and a time that works for you, and we'll see you on the other side. So hopefully you found this incredibly helpful. Uh, do give us your feedback below. I hope this was helpful today. And I also hope to see you on the next training that I do. Uh, this is real estate coach uh, Craig Proctor. And I want to thank you so much for watching this today. Have a great day. Hi, this is Craig Proctor. Hey, I really hope you enjoyed that video. And listen, I've got a lot more information for you to help you grow your real estate business. You see, several times a week, I record new videos and I load them onto this YouTube channel. What I'd like you to do if you'd like to access them are two important things and both are totally free. Number one is I'd like you to subscribe to this channel. You're going to see a little subscribe button for you to click on. And if you don't already have an account with YouTube, it's free for you to set it up. It's really easy. It's free, but you've got to subscribe to this channel. And the most important thing is to ring the little bell right next to the subscribe button. And that's going to let you know every time I load new money making videos to help you grow your real estate business. So make sure you subscribe right now, you ring the little bell, and we'll see you on the next video.